world headquarters of common sense. Talk radio. Uh, let's talk to social commentator Russell Kirk. Hi, Russell. Yeah, hi, Kevin. Yes, we remember talking about this a few weeks ago. Indeed. We were, um, of course. Lampooning yeah. it, understandably and rightly so. Yeah, I mean, the thing about this is, uh, you know, and I, I first when I read the story, I said, well, fair enough, you know, they they vigilantly check all of these things. They found 1,700 child labourers were used in the supply chain to create their confectionery. Uh, so I think good for them, they found this out. Anyway, it turns out the year before it was about 320. So, you know, that's a steep rise that they're exploiting more and more and more. Well, it, it's rather in contrast to their, their ridiculous statement. And, and bearing in mind, as we discussed before, Kev, this company was set up as a joke, as a PR stunt. And, and look, A, it is a joke, seemingly, in terms of its record here, uh, in terms of using child labour. Um, but, but certainly in terms of PR, I mean, look, they're not going to win any awards for ethical uh, proclamations, are they, when you know they actually go out of their way to be seen to be an ethical business based on integrity because the, the cocoa industry does have a terrible reputation for slavery and child labor but but frankly how they can say that it's kind of okay that they've discovered child labor that means that there is no slavery so that's kind of all right then mm. you know it, it's it, it's a, a ludicrous kind of uh you know way of trying to pull themselves out of this but as you say the the fact that they discovered in 2020 that there were 320 odd uh, I, see, I, see, I, got, I got that wrong let's, let's, let's get that right the, the actual figures 1701 1, this year and last year 387 underage yeah. workers were found now the company says this is proof uh, <laughs> that their policies on illegal working practices are working uh, well, it's not really, is that's it? Absolute tosh, yeah. That's absolute tosh. I mean, so what, what would you imagine when they found 386 cases of child labour in 2020, they might have done something about it. What they've actually done is quadrupled down on it. So they, they've actually increased or allowed their supplier, which is a company called Barry Calado, apparently, which is the, the company that grows or produces the cocoa beans mm. that these guys buy from. Yeah. And you would think that in their supply chain, they would have said to Barry Calado, look, this isn't good enough, sorry. 387 is 387 too many. Not then allow 1,701 cases the next year. Now, these kids, uh, I think technically they're not what you would call slave labour, but this company's motto is, let's make chocolate 100% slave-free. They may or may not uh, have uh, succeeded in that endeavour, but they have not made their ethical chocolate 100% exploitation-free. No, Far from it, and you're, it's you're... getting worse. I know, I know you're no apologist for this firm at all, but, but they're almost making it sound as though just because they throw a few shillings at these nine and ten-year-olds, um, that it makes it OK. Well, they're not technically slaves because we do chuck them a few Toblerones or a few wine gums every now and again. I mean, it's utterly, utterly outrageous. Yeah. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so of course, they're bars. We tried them the other week, I think, when you were on the show, uh, Russell. Uh, it says, uh, what does... One bar says, what does inhuman mean to you? Child labour. Uh, yeah, what does really I mean. inequality mean to you? Child labour having to work when they're only kids. What does injustice mean to you? Uh, the injustice of children having to work uh, to produce your chocolate. How about that, chocolate? This chocolate, is also kept the company... This is the company that a few years ago was thrown off the ethical cocoa business list because there were suspicions and concerns about their well lack of lack of morals, lack of ethics when it comes to producing chocolate. So, but th this lot, these these virtue washing muppets, come out yet again like a Ben and Jerry's to try and kind of preach to us all how righteous and fantastic they are, and yet. Again, as always, they turn out just to be a bunch of hypocrites. Yeah, spokesman uh, uh, said uh, that they uh, uh, we pay more to ensure our fully traceable cocoa beans are kept separate uh, from uh, Bally Calibos. Uh, Barry Calibos is one of these companies that apparently produces of cocoa beans that produce apparently use child labour. Uh, this full visibility means we can state that we have never found any cases of modern slavery in our supply chain. But you can't state, can you, Tony's chocker lonely, that you've never found any cases of child labour. Child labour isn't quite as bad as child slavery, uh, but it is all wrong. It is a morally dubious, to say the least.
Kev, it's fraud, isn't it? Because if you set your stall out to be a business that sells its goods based on ethics and morals, and it turns out you're actually not very ethical, you're actually not very moral, well, then I would say that everyone that's bought one of these stupid bars of chocolate should demand a refund. I think all of the chocolate that this, you know, this bunch of charlatans have sold over the last months and years, all of that money should be refunded back to the consumer. Um, by the way, West Ham won, Watford nil. Yeah. yeah, I hope Kurt Zuma didn't score. Uh, listen, Russell, great to talk to you. Good talk. Hot talk. Hot talk. Bold talk. Talk radio. Listen on your smart speaker. Watch it live on your smart TV. The world headquarters of common sense. Talk radio.